To Bite Size English. My name is Malika, and I'm really happy to see you all in the first episode of our new season. The latest news is that we've got a new presenter. He is very cute, but he's getting late. Hi, sorry for being late. I couldn't park my car. Don't worry about that. Is everything all right? Yes. I've just moved to Astana, and to be honest, I've got a poor sense of direction. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to navigate around the city. Let's go. Hello, Independence Palace, please. How much? Uh, five hundred. Okay, get in. Listen, I'm not from here. I just moved to Astana. Can you help me with directions? Of course. I know Astana very well, like the back of my hand. You now go straight on until we pass a supermarket on our right. Then go over the bridge and take a right. Uh oh! I think we're going the wrong way. Well. Yes, I just confused this bridge with another one. The bridges in Astana are all alike. I don't think so. What? Never mind. I'll just revise what you told me. To go straight on, pass the supermarket on my right, go over the bridge, and take a right. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Let's see what happened next. Hey,、uh, there's no road here. How can I turn? Sorry.、Mm. Continue straight ahead for about three kilometers. Wait! Take a left turn here now. Oh, what are you doing? That was the shortest way to the palace. The shortest way to the palace? You told me to go straight ahead for three kilometers. I'm sorry. But you could have taken a left turn. You weren't listening to me. I was actually. As a result, let's see what happened forty minutes later. Okay, where are we now, Susani? This place looks so familiar. Let me think. Oh, look! There is bus going straight to the Independence Palace. I'll take this bus. Ciao. Thank you for leaving me all alone in the steps. Oh, you are safe. You are here with me now. Imagine how people used to deal with that centuries ago. What do you mean? I mean the age of discovery, when people didn't have any navigation systems and they couldn't simply ask the way in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Well, yes, the age of discovery or the age of exploration, as it is sometimes called. Officially began in the 15th century and lasted until the 17th century. This was time when Europeans began exploring the world by sea in search of new trading partners and new goods. In addition, some explorers set sail to simply learn more about the world. Also, during the Age of Discovery, were the famed voyages by Christopher Columbus. These voyages started as an attempt. To find a trade route to Asia by sailing west, instead, in 1492, he reached America. America. So that's worth the risk. That's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Join us on Facebook and bk.com and make the bite-sized English history with us. See you all next time, and don't be afraid to take risks. Yes, like one Persian proverb says. If a man jumps over a river, knowing how wide it is, he will not jump. But 
not knowing how wide it is, he will jump and most of the time he will make it.